Okay, first we're gonna take our front zipper pocket, the top of it, and we're gonna sew the zipper on. Um, I'm gonna use a non-zippered foot, but if you have a zippered foot, you can definitely use it. It will make the front of your pouch slightly smaller, um, but you can just trim around that and it's pretty easy. So what I'm gonna do is flip the zipper upside down on the right side of my fabric, so the fabric that I want showing when I'm all done. And if you're using a zipper chain, make sure you have a little hanging over on each side. Line it up end to end. So when you flip it, the good side of the zipper should be uh, towards the good side of the fabric. Don't forget to backstitch. And just sew as close to that zipper as possible. Great, and then flip it over and press your material back. And you're using a softer canvas. You could press with an iron. Um, this is pretty heavy duty, so I'm just gonna press with my fingers. And then you're gonna wanna top stitch it. So same thing, go back, line it up. And everything's a quarter inch, just to make it easy. There you go, and then we're gonna do the same with the bottom half. Um, if you want to add the pocket, that's when we're gonna do that now. Um, so for your pocket, either serge this edge or do a double fold down. I'm gonna do a double fold down, which means I'm going to press back one way at a quarter inch, and then I'm gonna do another quarter inch fold, straight fold, again, Use an iron if you want. Um, that's gonna give you the most crisp look. Um, this canvas is just so thick that an iron doesn't do too much to it. And then once you have that flipped over on the very edge, you wanna edge stitch that. You could also do a quarter inch stitch. Either way will work. I'm gonna do an edge stitch just to make sure I catch every little bit of that edge. This is gonna be a pocket that we're going to sew to the outside, which we'll do at a quarter inch. So we'll start here. Now I want a pencil pocket. So you have that big pocket right there. I want to do a little pencil pocket here. You'll notice on the front zipper panel, the lower part, there'll be two places, um, notches, where you're going to want to sew. So what you can do is you can line that up. This is for the pencil pocket. And just do a little snip below. And you can take a pencil and you can draw a straight line here. Um, I'm just going to go down straight and line it up. Now you have your front with a little pencil pocket, maybe foam pocket, something else there. But now what we're gonna wanna do is put the zipper on. And I had you leave a little extra on either side so it's easier to put that on. So you're gonna wanna split it apart if you're using a zipper chain. If you're using a pre purchase zipper um, that you won't need to do this. You put it on one side just a little bit and you're going to take the other one and you're going to slowly work it in and you'll just work both of those in until you can pull the zipper down. Um, after you have the zipper on though, that's when you can trim any of your excess and then you have your front panel. Now the final step for the front panel is to take one of the two main panels that you cut front zipper panel, so take the wrong side of the front zipper panel and face the right side of the main panel and just line it up. Should be almost exactly the same size. If it's not exact, it's okay. Um, this pattern is forgiving. You can trim. Um, so you're going to line it up and you're going to pin it all the way across and then you're just going to sew in a square all the way across. Trim away any excess you might have. Next we're going to grab the two top zipper panels and we're going to sew that zipper on. So same way as the front panel, you're going to want to put the good side of your fabric to the good side of your zipper. You're going to want to sew on either side, top stitch and add the zipper. Now we're going to want to take our bottom panel and our top zipper panel and we're going to want to line up on either side and pin. Um, depending on what zipper size you used, if you used a zipper foot, um, you might have some excess on either side, and that's okay. So you're going to do one side first at a quarter inch. Now if you do have excess, this is a good time to trim it. So you're going to move on to the next side. What you're going to do is you're going to pull it up and keep the zipper together. Pin. So it'll look like this. It won't be 
the same size. If you want to have finished seams, you're going to either want to serge this or you're going to want to add bias tape. Um, I'm going to add bias tape. A fun tip about bias tape, one side is slightly longer. That should be on the bottom. That way, as you sew, it'll guarantee to catch that other side. Okay, now we're going to sew the other main panel that you have set aside to the front zipper panel. Okay, what you're going to want to do is then clip along that side. You should have what looks like this. And then you're going to want to sew here. Now, same thing on the other side. Make sure you're doing it on the same side of the bag as well. So you'll see when you flip it over, it should look like this. Now it's time for the side panels. So you're going to want to gather your webbing and your four side panel pieces. And you'll want to put two aside. We'll start with these two, it doesn't matter which um, side you start on. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take your um, one and a half inch of webbing. You want to place it right in the middle there. And with right sides together, you're just going to want to sandwich it in. I recommend pinning or clipping. Start at one end with a quarter inch seam allowance. Make sure to back stitch. I'm going to go all the way up. I'd go back and forth on this a few times for stability. The end should have will look like this. It's okay for this to be sticking out a little bit. You want the longer piece to be going on this side. And trim, you're going to want to flip it inside out. Have that flipped out, you're going to want to press it with an iron or your fingers if you have a heavy duty canvas and you're going to want to top stitch. It should look like this. And now I'll repeat that on the other side. Okay, now that you have both of these complete, you're going to want to take your first one and you're going to set it inside. So it should stick out quite a bit. We're going to trim it down, but this will make sure having a little extra will give you a little more wiggle room and it'll make sure that it is going to be straight and not crooked. That down and then start at the very top. Make sure you back stitch and just sew a quarter inch down. So when you're done, you can flip it out and it'll look like that. Now make sure you trim this excess off. It's nice and clean. Repeat with the other side. When you flip it inside out, you should have a nice back panel all complete. Place two to look for if you missed anything. Okay, now keep it inside out. Unzip this top pocket and get the webbing out of here. That'll just make sure you don't accidentally sew it in. So our final part before the hardware is getting our front panel on. So just like the back panel, you're going to want to line up the middle notch to the middle notch and, or clip and then sew along that line there. Thing with the bottom. Now this is really important to make sure you are fully lined up with the notches in the middle and it looks straight because if you don't sew this part straight, then your front panel will be crooked. Now all you have to do is sew in either side. Make sure you trim any excess fabric off. And as far as the inside seams go, you can do a couple options. You can serge them if you have a serger. Um, you can use bias tape if you have bias tape. Or you can leave them raw if you're not really too concerned about it unraveling. A bias tape or serger just makes sure that whatever fabric you're using doesn't continue to unravel like you see here. Once you're done, you're going to want to unzip it. Zip it inside out. And there you have it. Now it's time for the hardware. Guys, I like to start with the long end. So this is the end that's going to have the adjuster. So lay your bag as if you were going to be wearing it. So right side out. And take your webbing and put it through the adjuster. 
so that it's on the top like that. Grab one of your hooks oops, and fold it through. You'll see so they're both on top. Take the end of your webbing from underneath. You're going to want to go up and under the outside layer webbing and then back through like that. And you can tighten that. So I fold it over two inches and then I fold it over again two inches. So before you sew, what you'll want it to look like is this on the outside and this on the inside. So it's that tail. Again, take the tail, you fold it two inches and then again two inches right over the hardware. And then pin it and sew a square with this is in it. Like that. Other side, take your open ring and position it so the bad part is underneath. See that? And then same thing, you're going to want to fold it in and in again. So it's like that, pin it, you want to make, make sure the tail end is as close to the hardware as possible too, because this is where you're going to want to sew, so it should look like that. You're going to want to sew as close to your hardware as possible. And that's it. We're done. Thanks so much. Subscribe for more tutorials and patterns. Uh, visit my website at LeRayHandmade.com. Follow me on Instagram at LeRayHandmade. Thanks, everybody.